Further debate, I recognize the member for Kitchener-Waterloo. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And I, um, I rise today to support, in support of M78, supporting Ontario's Community Rural and Agricultural Newspapers Act. Uh, this is a solid start to supporting the growth and use of local and community newspapers. In addition, the importance of rural and agricultural newspapers. And I want to speak to the great presence of the ethnocultural and non-English press in Ontario. Speaker, more than five million people in Ontario don't consider English their first language. They, they, re, they might rely on ethnic, ethnocultural and non-English newspapers in order to get important information, including the municipal notices, to the public that the member of Carleton has been talking about. In my riding of Waterloo, there are a few non-English newspapers, such as the Chinese Canada Voice paper and the Alem Fronteras, a Portuguese paper. And every month, all of us members in this House get a community newspaper in Arabic to remind us that non-English newspapers exist and they matter. These newspapers tend to have monthly issues, so the legislation will serve them well. Uh, but I just wanted to highlight their importance in this diverse society of Ontario. I also just want to give a shout out to student newspapers in the province of Ontario. Um, uh, the importance of student journalism has recently come to the fore, and uh, Isabel Beasley, who is the editor-in-chief of The Charger, set, writes that journalism is far more than simple fact reporting. Journalists act as informants, watchdogs, and storytellers. They tell the stories people want to hear, and more often, the stories they don't. Being a journalist comes with a sense of responsibility to provide the truth to your readers. And so anything that we can do to strengthen uh, the newspaper coverage, of course, in the province of Ontario is good. One of the most important functions of journalism is to convey transparent, unrestrained and unbiased information, and the media is doing a great job in Ontario doing just that. Free press is needed in order to hold all of us members accountable to our communities and this province. The media is a watchdog. They oversee the work of government officials on behalf of the citizens, and they're needed now more than ever. When the Premier of Ontario goes on record to say that mainstream journalists have become irrelevant because he speaks to Ontarios through social media, uh, that sets a dangerous tone to our democracy. When the Premier limits the number of press conferences he does, that sets a dangerous tone to our democracy. When he does not post his itinerary and not, is not transparent about where he is and what he is doing, that makes the media's job more complicated. I believe, and I know many members in this House believe in the value of the Fifth Estate and social media in disseminating information. In fact, I talk to my constituents in Waterloo every day via Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, and I know that many of us do that. You cannot have a government member's private member's bill supporting local media on one hand, while you have a rogue premier attacking the media on the other hand. The premier, on multiple public occasions, claimed that his biggest rival and the official opposition is the media, referring to reporters as the media party. If anyone's cheese fell off the cracker, it's the premier's in this instance, not the reporters in the province of Ontario. That said, we support this member's motion because it is important. Uh, community newspapers serve an important role in the province of Ontario to disseminate information from municipalities. And as I've already stated, those ethnic uh, media sources actually in, ensure that inclusion of populations in our democracy happen in Ontario. And so New Democrats will proudly support this private member's motion. Thank you very much.